Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing season 4, episode 10 of Supergirl Called Suspicious Minds. So we start off with um, the Soviet Kara is training and they are very impressed by her. And then we have Kara, the regular Kara and Lena are, t are in the bike class with Lena about to pass out and all sweaty and stuff and Kara's like, looks well, like she just got there or something like she has not broken a sweat or anything. And then uh, she fakes the leg cramp and goes help these people on this um, barge crew. And um, she managed to save all of them from a uh, weapon, but one guy uh, got terminated by this uh, shimmering alien. And we found out that the uh, Colonel Haley is very uh, upset with Kara for everything, <laughs> basically. And then Kara leaves, and then we cut to where Brainy visits John, and he's on detective work now with um, regular people and aliens that feel like he, they can't go to the police. And Brainy suggests to help Kara with everything, and he's like, I'll be happy to help her, but all she's got to do is ask. I'll be happy to help her, no problem. And he tries to pay her, and he tries to pay him, but Brainy's like, I mean, John's like, mm, I don't need your money. Take it with you. <laughs> and uh, he tries to leave it a couple of times, but he kept, you know, John kept giving it back, which I thought was a funny moment. And then we cut to where Colonel is um, still super mad and it's interrogating Agent Wolf. And then we have uh, the people that actually know Supergirl and her actual identity are starting to feel a little uneasy. So Alex basically holds a tiny little briefing in like the changing rooms and they all say they'll um they will cover for Kara and they agree and then uh Haley walks in and wants to talk to one of the agents and then we cut to where uh the Coast Guard said that the ship wasn't on file and the crew has disappeared and there are ghost slash it's a cover-up happening and then we have Alex uh, warns Kara about Haley, and then we have Lena visits James and they make up. Then we have Brainy calls Nia and basically asks her out on a date. And then um, Haley interrupts that, it was actually a cute moment between those two, but Haley interrupts and questions him. And then uh, he shut everything down and everything went okay with that. Then we cut to where Kara visits John and they um, run into, he looked at his files his, of his tenure at the DO and found something called the Moire, which is like an invisible creature, but Kara can see it because of her x-ray vision and they shimmer. And then we cut to where Afonso Tan ran it um, and also the guy, to the guy that went, went missing and Haley was also involved as well and then we cut to where Brainy is um mad and forgot about Supergirl but then he remembered because he said that he could compartmentalize um and shut it, that memory down for a certain amount of time while he was being questioned by Haley and uh, then he forgot then he remembered and he had it like on a timer so he's all good then Supergirl meets with Alex and John and Tan talked and basically they train these alien kids to do this and for trauma you know that's how they feared them and obeyed orders and that type of thing and taught them to be assassins <laughs> and now they're not having it and uh, Tan ordered to off them and so they said to um, attack and off them before they off for they got offed. And so uh, two of them show up and attack them. Car tries to talk to them and um, it calmed down a little bit. Then uh, when Alex suggested to go back to the DEO, it went bye bye on a permanent vacation. And uh, then we cut to where Alex talks to Haley and basically she said, like, she has something, she hasn't had anything to do with it for years, but if it's true, then they need to put the DEO, DEO on lockdown. They figure out how to get it visible. 
Then Brainy and uh, is on the, on their date with Nina, but it's not a date. And talks about her helping Supergirl. She says no, but uh, the Brainy got a call and he's got to go. And um, but but he does. But before he does go, he talks about how he was on a bad path. But uh, once he got into what he was doing, he went. He was a better person for it. And Lee's buying her because he got a call and he had to go. Then Lena and James are eating. And then Lena talks about humans having powers and how she is trying to do that. And would love James' support, which he gives. And so, the, like I said, the DO is going to be a lockdown. And so Brainy is deciding to use a mist to... Um, to show their movements. And then once he shows their movements, he's going to... Shoot them with a paintball gun to make them exposed. So Haley says to use uh, real guns and not stun guns that they have been using. And then we uh, cut to where uh, one of the girls broke, and now that car, now that Haley knows that car is Supergirl. Then we cut to where um, <laughs> the Moray enter, and they cut the power, and they. Um, the Dia off the one, then it's Haley versus the other one. And then Kara shows up and saves her, and she is still mad, and now knows her secret, and blackmails her into rejoining the D.O. and being forced to work with them. So, um, Alex knocks her out. <laughs> and then calls John to wipe her mind, and at first he was like, that's like that's against my code right now but he will do that for them and then um she but that does not that, that does not negate Haley's intentions on finding out who Supergirl is so they brought a virtual Aryan on site which is a truth seeker so John has to wipe all the minds of the people that know who she is at the D.O. And um, that includes Alex. And Car gets really mad at that. And then we cut to where Dreamless looking over the sketches and the binder. And then um, we have John forming the wiping of the minds of the people that know. And then when it comes to Alex's turn, Car can't watch that. And so she leaves. And that's the end of the episode. Um, really good episode. I give this a A. Uh, there's just a couple of things in there. I was just kind of like, eh. But this whole thing with Haley, though, is just some crazy stuff. I just don't understand what's even happening. I thought the fight scenes were good. It's kind of neat trying to see them how, honestly, them trying to fight something that's invisible that basically only Carr can see. And the ingenu ingenuity that Brainy had to figure out how to make them seen. So I thought that was a really good points in there and overall I really enjoyed this episode a lot um it was just the reason why I didn't go to plus was the whole James thing so I think he's fishing to get powers once Lena unlocks on and gets uh feeling how to do it correctly I feel like he's going to try to take advantage of that and get powers because he's so desperate to help people and I don't think it's going to turn out well and I think he's going to become a villain down the road that's my guess right now. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me what you think about um, James if he's going to go dark or something. I was very curious to see what's going to happen with that. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.